Welcome to 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Jeff Pospisil. And in this video, I'm going to deal with prepaid expenses. So for all of you that are cash basis, you don't really have to worry about this because you just record the expense when the cash goes out. But if you are pre, if you are accrual basis, then you have to worry about prepaid. So if you pay a bill, that's uh, really the expenses incurred in a future period, but you're paying it now, here's what you do. All right, so here I am using the QuickBooks Online Desktop app. You can tell that right up from up top. And I am new to using this and learning every day. By the way, I'll put a link to the description on how to get it. I do like it, by the way. Um, some of the things that I've noticed is I used to middle click everything to open it up. And now I get kind of a weird, <laughs> weird error message when I do that. So there are ways to do it. Instead, you have to what you could right click a tab to duplicate it or you can right click whatever you want to open so if i want to open up bills open in a new tab open in a new window um, so i'd probably open that up in a new tab so that's that's good to know so you right click instead of middle click if you're used to that and if you want to see i mean you can see what's open right here right up at the top with the tabs but the other thing you can do is over on the far right, there's this button. And I thought that was a copy button, but you click it and it just shows you all the tabs and the windows that are open. And then if you have ones that you want to close, you can just hit the close button and you can do that that way. Um, you could also open up a new tab just by clicking this plus sign and that'll open up a new tab as well. All right. So here was my situation is that with the upper midwest they have a conference in 2025 but they had to make a down payment for it in 2024. they are accrual basis so if they were cash basis that down payment you would just record that as an expense but they're accrual basis so you have to watch when um, watch when the expense is incurred and let me show you what i did so here is the bill so by the way i uploaded my support I filled in everything and for the category or the account, I chose 1250 prepaid expenses. And if you look at that, that's set up as an other current asset. And it's an asset because if I decide to cancel the event or if we decide to cancel the event, we can get that money back. So it's still an asset, although it's not convenient to get to, it's still an asset. Um, so. I record that as an as a prepaid expense, which is an asset. So if you look at my reports under the statement of financial position, that's like the balance sheet. You can see under other current assets, there is the line for prepaid expenses, 6,500. So because it's on the balance sheet though, this will just keep this will stay here until I do something with it. With all your expenses at year end, they close out and they go over into your retained earnings, which here I have showing as beginning balance uh, general fund. So that's uh, that's what they do. So this stays around there until I do something with it. So right at the same time that I entered that bill, I went ahead and did the entry to go ahead and turn that into an expense. So you can see right here, I have it dated ahead of time, January 1st, 2025. So it's recorded to the correct year. And I have it set up as a I, that prepaid expense, 6,500. I credit it because it's an asset. Normally it has a debit balance. So if I wanna remove it, I have to credit it. And then on the other side, the debit is the expense. So this is just an expense one and that will end up adding that right to my statement of activities so if i actually go ahead and i'm going to go to my reports and look at it for my statement of activities and if i go ahead and go to i'm just going to pick a custom date and let's go to 2025 2025 
and run the report, you're gonna only see one thing, and that's that expense, so it's already there. And the reason why I do this ahead of time is, um, this is six months ahead, of, ahead, and by the time we get to 2025, I'll be busy doing other stuff, and you almost always forget to turn your prepaid expenses into expenses. So that's what I do, is I encourage you to go ahead and do that journal entry ahead of time. Uh, as far as I'm aware of, there's not any type of automatic feature that does this for you in QuickBooks. I, there might be in some other software, but for here, go ahead and do that journal entry, clean that up ahead of time, and then you won't have to have any worries. All right, hopefully that all made sense. Um, you might not have a lot of security deposits, but a lot of times you will have like insurance payments. So for me, for example, my property and liability insurance, I'll pay the annual amount and it never falls uh, cleanly over the fiscal year. So there's part of it that's for the current year and part of it for the next year. So even for that, what I'll do is do it very similarly where I might record the expense for the current part and then the prepaid expense for the future part and then do my journal entry just for that prepaid part. So similar thing and that's probably a little bit more common for most people. Um, hopefully this was helpful and if you do appreciate it, like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And until next time, God bless you.